Hi everybody, this is Pastor Knox from St. Paul's in Stevensville. Just wanted to give you a little update on what we're doing here at St. Paul's. You may know that uh, services have been canceled Wednesday and Sunday services as well as school for the next few weeks and we're just updating you that just because services have been canceled just because school has been canceled does not mean that ministry has stopped here at St. Paul's. We are going to continue to provide you with God's Word. We are going to be uploading our Wednesday Lenten services as well as our Sunday services to our YouTube page and on Facebook. Uh, so keep an eye out for those and try to stay plugged in to the Word. Uh, it's most important especially in times like this. Our teachers are also uh, staying up to date with the students. They are working on e-learning so they can connect with students and continue to provide educational materials for them uh, throughout the coming weeks. And I w would like to share um, a bit of scripture with you coming from Psalm 62. This is a Psalm of David and if you have time later tonight or today if you want to read through the whole Psalm on your own that would be great. Uh, it's a great Psalm of comfort. I'm just going to share the first two verses with you. Truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from Him. Truly He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. This is a great reminder that our souls find rest in God. They don't find rest in the government or in our own efforts to control and fix everything or even in our health, but our rest for our soul comes from God. And how God reveals himself to us is in his word. Um, so an encouragement for you to, to get into the Bible, to continue with daily devotions, uh, or to start them if you haven't done them before. Um, this is where our souls find rest, not in anything of this world. And this is a rest that is deeper than any other rest of that this earth can offer, um, deeper than any other contentment or joys in this life. And so an encouragement to look to your Lord, look to his word and be comforted by him who, who gave his son up for you, that he would live the perfect life and die the perfect death on your behalf for the forgiveness of your sins. So that's an encouragement and an update of what we're doing here at St. Paul's to, to cope with the situation. God's blessings on your day.